Hello everyone, it's Randy here again, another episode of Farming Simulator 15, and we are playing on the West Bridge Hills map on the RDL and Farming server. Some lag there. Just kind of waiting for the uh, crops to grow here early morning. Oh, got some good rubber banding going on. Whoa, that's some nice rubber banding. Uh, interesting. Oh, there it goes again. Okay. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, this is the annoying part about uh, farming sim multiplayer. Like I said before, it's absolute crap. Not exactly sure what's going on at the moment, if it's something with the server or internet. Seems like it's been like this a little while. I did try uh, restarting the server, that did not seem to uh, fix the problem. Uh, I got my little brother on the line at the moment, he is playing with me. Uh, the only other person online at the moment, so... And I had my doubts if that was intentional, more than likely I suddenly appeared in front of him. Yeah, it looks like my internet connection, I got it up at the moment, it's running a pretty steady 20 millisecond ping, so... Not sure what's going on. Anyway, waiting for the crops to grow here. Uh, what else do we have going on? Anything else we can do? Yeah, we've got uh, wheat and barley, I believe. Yes, barley on that field, wheat on those two. Liquid, ooh, I do have quite a bit of liquid manure. Uh, no mixed rations yet. Obviously, I don't think we even have a mixing wagon. Probably should work on that next. Uh, we do have silage, grass, straw. Looks like they're all set there. 57 eggs. Feeding churn wool is 26%. Okay. That looks pretty good. Actually, let's see what's here. Chickens. Let's see, do we have a vehicle near the chickens? We could possibly pick up the eggs. Got the time on high speed at the moment, 120 times, so hopefully it'll be ready pretty quick. It does seem like a walking around is always like the worst thing to do in a farming ser uh, sim server. And once you're in a vehicle, it's usually not as bad, it seems like, but... Okay, so we've got a couple more eggs. I'm assuming we're picking these up. Maybe I should check that. Something with a lag, maybe. Ah, oh, no, we are picking them up. Okay. Just, uh, you know, got the time on high speed, so the eggs are probably getting uh, produced about as fast as I'm picking them up. Oh, I absolutely gotta love that farming sim server lag. Yeehaw. Like I said, I'm not exactly sure what's causing the lag. Could be my internet connection, could be something with a server, who knows. Could be something with a connection in between here and the server. No idea. Okay, I think that's all the eggs. Uh, no, apparently it's not. There's 12 of them somewhere. Oh, I see one. I see two. Uh, there's a three and a four, five. Let's see, there's one up on the fence post here. Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, one on top of the house. Let's see, the wheat ready yet? Uh, nope, nothing ready yet. That's a fence post there, by the way. <laughs> 
it does seem like the tractors actually uh, tend to slide around a little bit more since the update, at least on multiplayer anyway. Okay, do I have all the eggs now? Four. Uh, four. You're going to make me look for these four. Okay. There's one. Two. Oh, it's growing. Okay. Let's uh, put that time scale back down to one then. Let's hop back over to the combine. Now, I'm not sure how, but I ended up with the small combine. Okay. Okay, I'm not even sure what's going on at the moment. Uh, I'm not even driving. Okay, looks like the pain is starting to go back down. Come on now. Probably, uh... Yeah, okay, it's probably not the best place to start. I probably should start at the other end, actually, if I can get turned around here. I like that the tires aren't actually even turning on the vehicle. It's, uh, how bad it is. All I can say is, uh, Giants really needs to fire whoever came up with the, uh, multiplayer bit. Biggest amount of, uh, shoddy workmanship I've ever, uh, seen. Okay, let's get this fired up finally. And away we go. Possibly, maybe. Why does it say I'm going zero mile an hour? That's <laughs> I'm going, okay. Let's uh, stop here a minute. Oh, uh, that, that was weird. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is, uh, no, the ping is actually pretty good at the moment. Shouldn't be lag. Why is my speed limiter set to zero, though? So, let's see if we can bump that up, see if that'll fix the issue. I know some people have said since the update they've had issues with the uh, speed settings as well. Yeah, okay, looks like resetting the uh, cruise controller fixed the problem. That's good. Getting a little worried there for a minute. It's like, okay, this thing doesn't want to go. Uh, straw. Probably don't need the straw, I don't think. Okay, I'm waiting for the rubber band here any minute. I always like it. It's really funny if folks, uh, if I get a front view here, you can see the crops getting harvested and the combines, you know, like hanging way back. I always find that to uh, be really funny to watch. Or if you do it you know, like cultivate or plowing, it'll do the same thing. I'll say there'll be plowed ground out in front of you where you haven't even been yet. Uh, Wayne was asking, is it the snow mod or not? On uh, the Bjorn home map, it is not... Well, it is a mod, it's a map, actually, not really a, I don't know if I'd consider that a uh, mod or not, but uh, it is a map that is snowy. So that is what's up with the uh, snow there.
uh, Spotter Sky was saying he's had the same problems with the uh, Scorpion making cuts itself. That is the uh, wood cutting thing there. Yeah, sometimes if you go up to a tree and actually haven't pushed the button to cut it, I'll just start cutting, even though you actually haven't done it, which is kind of annoying. Like I said, haven't had any issues with that yet since the update. So, maybe that's fixed. I uh, can't say 100% for sure yet, though, so we haven't cut a lot of trees. Uh, he also had another annoying problem. When he gets out of the scorpion, if he has a tree in it, it'll drop the tree. Yes, it will drop the tree. Now, you can actually pick that tree back up if you try. I did do it once. Uh, I actually did it on purpose. Like, oh, okay, I'm going to drop this tree and get out see if I can get this tree back in. Now, I didn't cut it 100% perfectly right because I couldn't get it lined up 100%. I think I missed, like, uh, maybe a 2 or 3 meter piece at the end of the log. But basically, I was able to jam it back down on it. It uh, recognized there was a log there and pressed X to cut. And it did actually pick it up and cut it properly. So, at least the rest of the tree anyway. So, you can get it to pick back up again. Uh, yes, there is a way to do lumber on this map, although I'm not sure how well it's set up for it. There's actually, you got the trees around the fields here, but unlike the Bjornhole map, you know, the Bjornhole map has actually some nice uh, treed areas. As you look at the map on this one, I don't know, uh, maybe, yeah, it's quite hilly in this area, though. The lumber map, I believe, is a lumber yard and biomass heating plants down in this area here, if I recall correctly. Yeah, fir trees are definitely the easiest to do. Uh, Nick was saying, on my PDA, you have a fruit missing. Interesting. I'm assuming you're referring to the Bjornhol map, uh... Let's see here, everything looks like it's on this one. I'll have to go look at that, I'm not sure what uh, fruit would be missing. Uh, let's see, we need to be emptied here. I'm guessing my brother will be coming in a minute with the, uh... Wagons. Uh, John was saying he also has that problem with the Ponzi Scorpion. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people have problems with that, so it's good to know it's not just uh, me having issues with that thing. Say, it likes to cut wood on its own, but like, uh, since the update, though, I haven't had any issues with that, so hopefully that's fixed it. Uh, Michael was asking if I still played FS2013. I do not. Nope. I haven't touched it since uh, 2015 has come out, so. Uh, Matthew was asking how to unzip mods. Uh, you actually don't have to. Uh, Nick, uh, I believe, replied back to him. You don't actually have to unzip the uh, mods. You just drop the mods unless they are zipped in within a zip. You don't have to. Just drop them right straight in the mods folder. And they should work. Like I say, the only case you might have to do that is if it's uh, zipped within a zip. So you have to open it up and look, oh yeah, there's a zip file inside of a zip file. That'll sometimes happen if you got like a mod, like say a combine or something, it'll have the header in a zip and the combine itself will be in a separate zip. And then when you download it, it'll be in one zip. So you have to unzip the uh, zip, so to speak. It's also if you have it in WinRAR files. Not super common, but uh, some mods do come that way. And you will have to un-RAR the files.
interesting bit of lag going on here. It does seem like I said in the past, if you're in a vehicle, the lag isn't quite as bad. Or at least it's a little more manageable anyway, let's put it that way. That's interesting. Yeah, I think this entire episode will pretty much be us just uh, harvesting this field here. Don't think I dare do anything else at the moment because of the lag, so... Yeah, you can hop over to the other combine here. Get a view from what uh, this combine here is doing. This is the uh, Case 7130. God, I believe it's a 10 meter head on this one. Not the real big one, it's the next one down. Okay, you know what, let's see if we can maybe grab a planter cultivator here. Let's see, what, we get. Uh, what do we have? Ah, there we go, there's some planters. If we can uh, make it over there. Okay, good. Cedar is full of seed. Let's do... Yeah, we could probably do canola. We got wheat and barley on the fields this time. Wait for the uh, ping to go back down. Yeah, once the uh, ping goes up, or at least for me anyway, once it goes much above 100, uh, it's pretty much impossible to do anything. Okay, set on canola, and let's rock and roll. Yeah, you can kind of see the seated bit there. Uh, it's like catching up to the back tires of the tractor sometimes. I almost have this uh, field all done harvesting. It's a lot quicker than I thought we would. 
course, we got uh, the big field 17 there as well. That'll take a while. And number 15 there, which is even bigger yet. So that'll really take some time there. One trailer load there, I take it. Actually, I forgot to check. Is this field actually fertilized? That looks like it is. From here, anyway. Some more uh, rubber banding going on there again. Actually... Okay, one combine is full. Actually, looks like the other one is full. Probably grab another set of tractors and tippers, maybe. So he is still unloading. Ah, he's done already. Okay. No sense uh, doing that, then. Let's see. What are the wheat prices? 42,000 wheat already. Not too bad. 260 at the diner. 57 restaurants, train station. Looks like the train station. Let's see if we can uh, make it over there without any uh, incidences. Like that's going to be a negative. Wait, start filling that. Yeah, one good thing about this uh, load, the tractor moves kind of slowly. Should uh, keep things safe, hopefully. Okay, now that we're up the hill, if we go a little bit faster here. Okay, there goes the first trailer, and we are on hard mode, so we probably won't make 
too much off of this, actually. At $2,000. Okay. Like I said, not much. Ah, uh, it's a good size weight on the front of this tractor. Look out. Crazy driver coming through. Should definitely make uh, quite a bit more off the load he brings. Got a couple of bigger trailers there. Yeah, that's not too bad. I'm gonna make about 16,000 off that field. Plus, is there some, uh, no, it looks like he got everything from storage. So yeah, about 16,000 off that field then. Hard mode is definitely much harder. Seems like much harder than even 2013 was in FS15 here. I'm not sure if the combines are empty or not. There could be a little bit more wheat in there. That would definitely uh, add just a little bit more. And it looks like they're both having an altercation there in the middle. That's usually where it happens. Okay, let's uh, grab this guy. Go, and we'll start up on field 15 here. Definitely should get a lot more weed off this one, so this should bring a lot more money. Yes, yeah, so we got $118,000 at the moment. Seems like we should probably uh, buy something with that. Definitely be nice to get another larger tractor. That probably should be on our list of things to get. check this uh, appears to be fertilized. Yeah, they definitely made the uh, fertilization a lot lighter in 2015 here. Definitely a lot lighter shading than 2013 was. Okay, and let's uh, see what's here. Probably got to grab the other combine yet. Oh, I think the other combine's moving. Okay. the unloading tractor up there then. Yeah, we'll have this uh, field planted in no time from the looks of it. 
definitely uh, makes a difference how fast you can have a field planted if you use a larger tractor. Like I said, we don't have a whole lot of large tractors on this uh, map yet, so I've been using some of the smaller ones. Some of the smaller ones pulling that planter. It takes a while to uh, get up that hill. Actually, with this field, you don't even want to go up the hill with that planter. You definitely want to go sideways, which is actually why it was planted sideways last time. So yeah, folks can see that it's actually planted the other way last time. Obviously, with this tractor here, that one's got more than enough horsepower. You ain't got to worry about that. Now, uh, folks, I think we better call it an episode there. That's enough of the uh, rubber banding for the moment. So, yeah, if folks have any comments or questions, uh, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.